White dwarfs are usually surrounded by a layer of light gases, but this one seems to be shrouded in dense metals. The strange thing about this star is that we're seeing these heavier elements in the surface, and that's something that you really shouldn't see in a white dwarf. We have calcium, aluminum, magnesium, even iron on the surface of the star. How is that possible? The presence of these metals on the surface of the star baffles astronomers. The white dwarf has a very powerful gravity. Those heavy metals should have sunk to the center. The physics doesn't seem to make sense. There should not be heavy elements on its surface unless the physics has turned the star inside out. There is no known force capable of turning a star inside out. So the metals cannot be from the star itself. They must come from somewhere else. Since we don't normally expect to see these elements at the surface of a white dwarf, are they being supplied from another source? As the team continue to monitor the star, they detect a massive debris trail behind the orbiting object. This discovery leads them to a shocking conclusion. The dying star was once orbited by several planets, but it is now tearing them apart. This is extraordinary. What we're seeing for the first time is a star that has destroyed its terrestrial planets and is now consuming them. So what's happening here is we're seeing the surface being ripped off, and we're seeing all these different pieces orbiting around it, not as one planet anymore, but as something that's been destroyed. The White Dwarf's massive gravitational forces tears the metals out of the planets and scatters them across the star's surface. We're seeing a star take its planets with it to the stellar graveyard. This is an event never before seen in human history. What we're witnessing here is entire worlds being torn to pieces. We're watching the end of a star system and a planetary system right before our very eyes. The scale of destruction is chilling, and it could offer a glimpse of our own fate. It's very easy to dismiss this because it's happening so far away. But what we're actually seeing is the future of our own solar system. One day, our sun will burn itself out and turn into a white dwarf, and it too will become a planet killer.